Get ready to hear the incredible story of one of the wealthiest men in history. This West African king was so rich that he could give away gold and cause inflation just by doing so. His fortune was so immense that it would make today's billionaires look like small-time hustlers. But what's even more intriguing is how he used his wealth to leave the world in awe. It's said that his riches were so overwhelming that they even disrupted the economies of the cities he visited. This king's legacy is not just about his wealth, but how he used it to promote his kingdom's prosperity and elevate the status of his people. His story is one of leadership, diplomacy, and of course, jaw-dropping wealth. Are you ready to learn about the king who made history with his fortune? In the 14th century, a king emerged from the heart of Africa whose wealth was so immense that it would take centuries for the world to catch up. His name was Mansa Musa, and he was the ruler of the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa was not just any king. He was one of the wealthiest people in the history of mankind, and his riches were legendary. The story of Mansa Musa is one of the most spectacular tales of all time, and it is a testament to the power and wealth of the great empires of West Africa. Mansa Musa was born in 1280 AD in the city of Niani, located in present-day Mali. He was the grandson of Sundiata Keita, who had founded the Mali Empire in the 13th century. As a child, Mansa Musa was trained in the Islamic faith and was taught the ways of the Mali Empire. He became king in 1312 AD and was determined to expand the empire's borders and its influence. One of the most remarkable things about Mansa Musa was his immense wealth. The Mali Empire was a major producer of gold, and Mansa Musa controlled the mines and the trade routes. The king's wealth was so vast that it is difficult to comprehend. According to historians, Mansa Musa's net worth was estimated to be around $400 billion in today's money, making him one of the richest people in history. Mansa Musa's wealth was on full display during his famous pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 AD. He traveled with an entourage of over 60,000 people, including soldiers, traders, and slaves. Mansa Musa brought with him vast quantities of gold. According to historical accounts, Mansa Musa's caravan, which included 60,000 men and 80 camels, carried 300 pounds of gold each. This means that Mansa Musa's pilgrimage to Mecca included 1.8 million pounds of gold which he distributed to the poor and the needy along the way. He gave so much gold away that it caused inflation in the cities he visited. In Cairo, Mansa Musa spent so much gold that the city's economy was destabilized for years. Mansa Musa's pilgrimage to Mecca was not just a display of wealth, it was also a way for him to establish Mali as a major power in the Islamic world. He was received with great honor and respect, and his wealth and generosity made him a legend in the Middle East. His pilgrimage to Mecca and his patronage of Islamic scholars and architects highlight the importance of cultural exchange and collaboration in promoting peace and understanding between different cultures and religions. Mansa Musa's reign was a time of great prosperity and expansion for the Mali Empire. He built many mosques and universities throughout the empire, and he established trade relationships with other nations. Mansa Musa also brought Islamic scholars and architects to Mali, who helped to build magnificent structures such as the Jingwareber Mosque in Timbuktu.